I'm Simon from uh, Ghost Barbershop in Nottingham. This is Kyle. So Kyle, what can I do for you today? Uh, I'm going to go for like a crop fringe, but like not like dead level on the fringe, you know, like so it like comes down a bit. Like, so it's yeah, like yeah. proper drops. Yeah, cool. And then just uh, mad texture on top and the skin fade as well, please, man. Cool. So a bit of texture on the top, bring your fringe down a little bit, but still yeah, crop yeah. it. Still crop it, but yeah. like not it's like, made, yeah. yeah. Cool. I'm just dampening the hair just to see where it, where it sits on that. So I'm going to use a closed blade, go and do my zero line. We're feeding the beard in. Yeah, feeding the beard in, yeah? So just bringing in my zero line. So I usually stop out there to the other side and meet up. So once I put the zero line in, just going to clear up underneath. Once I'm happy with the line. Just going to blow some of the hair off here, mate. Yeah? So just down the bottom of the neck, I'll use the trimmers for that. Just because obviously these, these can be a bit sharp and a bit like vigorous down there. So I'll just leave that bit for the trimmers. So now I'm going to go in with the trimmers. Just to make it that bit easier for when I use the foils. Just gets like right down to the skin. Always ensure that, that obviously the skin's stretched, just so obviously you don't cut the cut the client on the neck and stuff. It'd be quite sore for them. Otherwise, so I just I just leave the gown open slightly, just so I can get right down the neck. But I'm just going to go in with the foils now. So I leave I leave a small gap, like a centimetre, just below the the zero line just to flick out after. So I leave that gap all the way around. Always brushing any loose hairs off, just so you can see they're not obviously attached to the head anymore. So you get, with the stubble, you'll get a lot of loose hairs just staying on the hair, head. So after, after the, I've left this line, I'll just use them a lot more gently, just to fade away that line. Just flicking down on the line. Just till it obviously fades out. You don't want to press too hard because you'll leave a harsh line and then you won't be able to get it out. So now I'm going to use open blade, 0.5. No grass. Just flicking on that zero line that I put in. Probably about half an inch. Always flicking out, like using scooping motion, just so you're not creating any more harsh lines. Is that the same on this side? And then just again, join it up, both ends. Now I'm going to go in with closed blade, just using the corners, just to get out this faint line between the, the zero line and the 0.5. Just flicking corners on that line. For me, for me, like corners is crucial in every haircut I do. Just to get that extra crispiness in the fade. So I'm literally just using like just the very few teeth at the start of the blade. Whenever you're in and around the ear as well, always ensure like you hold hold the ear back. Because obviously if you keep bouncing on the ear like that, it's gonna obviously cause a lot of discomfort for the client. 
Now they're going with the one closed. So literally all, all I'm doing when I'm feeding, I'm feeding up. Like some people fade down, some people guard skip, but yeah, just my way of fading, obviously I fade up. So I'm using the one closed now. Obviously this is just my preferred way, but obviously there's no right or wrong way. I mean, even, even in this shot, every single barber cut's different, so this is just obviously my way of fading. I've tried other ways, but obviously this is what works for me. Just brush some of the hairs off your mate. You feel okay? Yeah. Yeah. So now I'm gonna use the 0.5 guard, the half guard closed, and the same again, just go corners. Just into obviously where I've done the one. Is a one and a half guard but closed. So the wall, the wall one and a half guard. Just flicking just underneath the hairline. Always combing down as well because obviously, when, whilst you're flicking, all the hair is like standing up, and you always want to keep that, that hairline nice and neat. I've switched to a comb now as well because obviously the hair is getting longer. Normally on like short hair, I always use the brush, but now I'm just using using the comb. Always still flicking out. You don't want to go like into the hairline, so obviously you'll ruin all the shape of the head. I'll switch back to the one again, but obviously I'm just going to open it to the one guard open. Using corners again. And then if the dark spot's obviously not going, just tilt it down slightly. So it's like almost like a 1.25. I'm still using the corners. So now I'm just gonna fine tune, obviously the top of the head, just where I blend it. So I'm just going to dump in there. Just naturally separating the comb, the crown. So because we're leaving the, the crop a bit lower, I'm just going to separate, separate the front of the hair. So leave that out till after. I'll yeah, put that yeah. after. I'll shunt off me. Yeah, yeah, Like that? Yeah. yeah. I'm just taking my first section to direct it down the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll stop at the crown. Just using the previous section as a guide. How's that for length, mate? Okay, yeah. Just gonna add some texture into it, yeah. Just bring a new blade in for you, mate, yeah. That's cool. Just gently, obviously, if you if you put too much pressure on, you're obviously gonna create a create a hole in the head. Do you know what I mean? Just literally, just lightly skimming the top of the hair. Just create the texture. Keeping your fringe down a bit, drop it a bit from the hairline, yeah? Yeah, just so it's not like dead fully, level, fully level like yeah. bowl cutting, you know what I mean? Okay, cool. <laughs> Always coming down so you can see where you've last cut. 
Yeah, yeah, no, 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 so once I've dried off with the brush, I'm just going to use my hands just to scrunch a bit of texture up. So now what I'm going to do, just using these thinning scissors. A lot of people are against these, but I personally just like them just to like thin the blend out a bit, just soften it up. It's one short blast. I'm just gonna just gonna change the blade again, put a new blade in just to line the top of your beard out, yeah? <laughs> just obviously ensuring you pull the skin <laughs> tight. Tight and wet with that. He loves them wet, doesn't he? He loves them long. He loves them. Just to get that line. Just going to finish off with a bit of matte mud. Just a little bit. I can watch this video back now when I don't know how to do my hair. <laughs> I'm quitting myself now, mate. <laughs> Just obviously pick little bits out, tweak them how you want it. What happens? So, cool, you happy? I'm happy. Feel better? Happy, yeah? Is that okay? Yeah? Cool, man. Okay, we built the best bar you could ever imagine for dudes who like to travel. Grab yourself some utility bar. This stuff works as a shave soap, beard wash, hair wash, and of course, body wash. Take it with you, no TSA problems. Get it at beardbrand.com.